Hey everyone, it's me, Kelly, and today is day 28 of Squaretober. Welcome. You guys, we only have three more days of the October Art Challenges. I'm pretty proud of myself for sticking with this because I, you know, I told my husband um, about halfway through, I said, I don't know if I want to continue doing this. And he was adamant. He was, he said, you need to finish it. You need to do it. And um, because it was taking a lot of time and this has been such a beautiful October, I felt like I was missing October. But now that the challenge is almost done, I'm really glad that he held me accountable and said, you need to continue this. You need to finish it because I do feel a, a big sense of accomplishment. And I've learned so much just in the past few like the past week. Um, what I'm really, really excited about is that I'm really learning this camera. I feel like I, I understand the settings better. There are a few hiccups here and there in this video, but from doing it today, I think that I've figured out what I need to do and how I need to what, you know what I mean. I don't want to go too much into that, but that was my excitement, my learning for the day. And I hope you guys are doing well with your challenges. Like I said, we've only got three more days. Hang tough. We can do it. Um, but let's get into this painting that I did today. So I wanted to continue using the Dr. P.H. Martin's Hydrus watercolors but I wanted to try them on um, Arches watercolor paper, the cold pressed. And so that's what I used today. However, when I tried them on the first attempt, I want to tell you, Dr. P.H. Martin's does not fade. Regular watercolors, when you put them on the paper, they may look really ultra uber vibrant. And then when the paint dries, there's this drying shift and they become much um, softer and more muted. That doesn't happen with the Dr. P.H. Martins. And so I started off with this really vibrant background. And when it dried, it was so dark, you couldn't even see pen marks on top of it. So bear that in mind. Um, use about a tenth of what you would normally use. And I didn't want to keep wasting it. It is it is a little precious. So I went back to the Schmincke watercolors that I've been using th mostly throughout this challenge. And I, I have to say, I really do enjoy using those. Um, but the other part of the experiment was to see how much the texture of the Arches cold pressed paper was gonna bother me when I was inking. And it bothers me plenty. It bothers me a lot. And I, you know, I don't think personally, that the hot press watercolor paper handles the water badly, and especially for these purposes. I suppose if, if I were doing a painting where I wasn't going to ink over it, then yeah, I probably would reach for the arches when doing this kind of background. But I don't mind the hot press. I really don't. Um, but I do mind the cold press for inking. It's difficult. You can see there's one ring there where the pen kind of meandered off. And, uh, you know, I know a poor craftsman always blames his tools. But in this case, the, the texture of the paper is really, it's difficult to stay on a line unless you've really embossed it with the pencil. And even the pencil will kind of skip a little bit. So... I don't know. I think I've decided I'm not a fan of cold press watercolor when I'm in ink. And I think I had already decided that, but now I really feel strongly about it even more than I did. So now I want to talk about Halloween because I'm, I'm late to the party, I know, but I'm kind of getting excited about Halloween. Um, I'm even thinking, does anybody here are there any people our age who do cosplays besides Adam Savage? 
Um, I don't know. Maybe I think I might like to dress up this year um, for giving out the candy and stuff. I don't know. It just seems like we have had, a lot of us, have had kind of some blah, dull years the past couple of years. And um, maybe we need to go ahead and embrace celebrations, you know, and not the typical Christmas. Christmas for me is going to be a little difficult because most of our relatives have passed in the couple the past couple of years. But um, Halloween is something we never celebrated with our families. So it's kind of this celebration that we can enjoy and it doesn't really have any baggage with it. I mean, I noticed up at Michael's, they have this whole like cosplay section for different foams and things, I guess, to help you create your um, costumes. I don't know. It's probably really too late. I'm not going to have time to do it. But you know what I did do? I bought one of those, um, I guess they're like plaster. Um, they have the they're traditionally they're made out of sugar those sugar skulls I have never painted one I've never not on paper I've never painted a real one I've never done anything with that so I think for the last day what I'm going to do is instead of painting a square I think I'm going to paint that sugar skull for square tober as kind of like the finale I don't know, would you guys be interested in seeing that? I would be using um, acrylic paint and not watercolor because I, I, I don't think watercolor would be the right thing to use on it. But I've got some acrylic paint sitting around and I'm just aching for an excuse to use it. So I think I'm going to do that. Tell me what you think if you'd be interested in seeing it. I'm still going to do it, but whether or not I video tape it for you guys is the question. My husband's going to, he likes to, um, he likes to carve pumpkins. So I think that's what his project is going to be for Halloween. We probably won't dress up. I would, I just, I don't know. I don't have time to, I don't have time to do it. You know, adults are busy people. <laughs> Mm, I don't know if you saw that change in the um, exposure there a little while ago. So I think that I'm going to have to make my, um, I think I'm going to have to make everything manual. And hopefully that won't occur again. I thought, I'm pretty sure I have manual everything except I have um, autofocus. But I've also got it stopped down a lot, so it shouldn't hunt focus-wise. But I don't, I don't know why it did that. That's if anybody can tell me, tell me why that happened. Um, otherwise, I'm going to have to keep, you know, I just have to keep working at it, like everything. I really did enjoy painting this and doodling on top of it. Uh, I used. Just two colors, Thalo Blue and Nickel Yellow Azo. And actually, for the Nickel Yellow Azo, I used M. Graham. Um, but the Thalo Blue was Schminka. And oh, this was just so relaxing. I really enjoyed uh, just doing this kind of doodle. And I like the fact that I learned that I, I reinforced the fact that I don't want to ink on cold press paper. Um, sometimes it's best to do it on a little project, these little projects, before you go to a really big project. And it's good to hash all of that out on these little tiny pieces of paper. Anyway, you guys, thank you for sticking with me and I'll see you tomorrow night. Good night. Bye.